Hello, uh, my name is Giacomo Luciani. I am uh, an adjunct uh, professor of interdisciplinary studies at the Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies. And uh, I also teach at Sciences Po in Paris, where I lead uh, a master in uh, international energy. Uh, the book we are presenting today is uh, the Polgrave Handbook of International Energy Economics. Uh, uh, it's, uh, as you can see, a rather thick book. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Um, it's edited by me and my colleague, uh, uh, Professor Manfred Hafner, and uh, it has uh, a, a set of uh, 36 chapters uh, covering various aspects of uh, uh, international energy uh, economics. It is very much um, uh, a reference book meant uh, to be uh, used uh, in teaching, in class, and, uh, and also by readers uh, of uh, the very numerous reports that are normally published by international energy agencies uh, or uh, international energy in, uh, agencies in general or by consulting houses or by the major energy companies. We have uh, a multitude of sources of information um, on energy and things evolve uh, very rapidly in this uh, in these days. So uh, I, there is, uh, we felt uh, that there is need for a, a book uh, that gives some of the essential background uh, on, uh, on energy so that uh, the characteristics of each uh, uh, energy source uh, can be uh, fully understood by the reader and of course they are not explained in every uh, other publication. And um, uh, the situation uh, is that uh, the energy picture is becoming increasingly complex. We have new technology, new sources uh, coming alongside uh, old uh, uh, sources and uh, sometimes uh, their technology is r relatively easy to understand, but their economics is not easy to understand. And that is especially the case for renewable energy sources uh, like wind and solar uh, that have uh, relatively uh, simply and intuitively understood uh, uh, technology but the, the economics of them, so the commercial viability, recovering investment and so on and so forth, is uh, in contrast uh, rather uh, complicated. So uh, much of the book is devoted to this. There is a first uh, section uh, devoted to the uh, production of energy. There is a second section devoted to the trading of energy and therefore how the price uh, uh, of energy in the market is uh, uh, found, discovered, uh, and, and formed. And uh, there is um, a, a section about um, uh, overall problems uh, of energy, uh, such as access to electricity or the cost of the uh, energy transition and the macroeconomic implications of the energy transition. <clears throat> and finally, there is a, a section on uh, uh, individual uh, regions, uh, North America, uh, Russia, uh, um, the Middle East and so on, uh, China. Uh, and that is necessary because conditions in different geographies are sharply different and so you have to uh, finally understand the situation uh, in each of them. Uh, the book is uh, thick, but uh, uh, fortunately we have been able to uh, receive funding for uh, having it published uh, in electronic format and in open access. So uh, you can download uh, the whole book or individual chapters uh, for free. Uh, you only need uh, to uh, access uh, it on the web under uh, Paul Grave Handbook of International Energy Economics again. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoy.